Hey guys, welcome to Rough Riders. The best lock ever for securing your trailer just got better. Stick around and I'll show you how. Thanks for stopping by. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to Rough Riders, I'm Jay Taylor. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Now, about three years ago, I did a video on how I secure my teardrop trailer with a hitch lock and a wheel lock. And the hitch lock that I use is from a company called Proven Industries. Now, I think uh, this is one of the best locks, if not the best lock in the, in the industry for securing your trailer because it does things that other, other locks don't do, which is secure your safety chains. And I felt that was a really important feature because when you stop to think about it, you're, you can have the best hitch lock in the world. And uh, if, you're, if your safety chains are, are they're dangling free, all they have to do is just wrap that around their bumper and then they can still haul your gear off. And so not securing the safety chains was, was problematic. And to me, that's what set Proven Industries apart because nobody else was doing it at the time. And I still don't know if anybody else is doing that. Uh, but you know, to me, that's what one of the things that makes this a really, really good lock. Now that video has gotten a ton of uh, views and feedback. And by the way, thank you guys so much. Uh, that really does help me out when you guys uh, check out my videos and leave comments and, and give thumbs up and, and all that kind of stuff. It, it, it really does help me out. And so I do very much appreciate that. But you know, it's got a lot of positive uh, comments, but there were some critics as well. And uh, the common theme among the critics was uh, that the core of the lock was brass. And brass being a soft material, it's easily drilled, all of that kind of thing. And that was, uh, you know, that was a, a point of concern among, um, among some of the viewers and, and some of the comments. Now, I don't know that it's as easy to drill this thing out as uh, they make it sound, because when you think about how all of the solution works, uh, you know, it's, it's um, the, the way it works in a nutshell. By the way, you know, if you haven't seen my other video, ch click in the upper right corner uh, to check it out because I do walk through how the lock uh, secures the chains and all that kind of stuff uh, in, in detail. But just to kind of give you a quick summary, the, uh, the lock has three components. It has the puck lock, the inner slide, and the outer sleeve. And what happens is you secure your safety chains on, on this ball profile. Uh, then you hitch this uh, up to your trailer tongue, and then the sleeve uh, goes over top of it. So now your entire uh, tongue in, in hitch is encompassed in this very robust steel cover, right? And then the, hitch, uh, the puck lock goes over top and secures it. So now this thing's on there really, really uh, 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 well, and you're not going to bang it off. You're not going to pry it off. You're not going to you know, grind it off or anything like that, not without a massive effort. But the point being is you know, that the core of the lock was brass and, and therefore it can be drilled out. Now, as I said, I don't think that's necessarily easy because you know, when this thing's installed, your, your tongue uh, is, is what, a foot and a half, two feet off the ground? And so getting down there with a, with a drill motor and a big old drill bit and all that kind of stuff is not going to be the easiest task in the world. Can it be done though? And the answer is yes. For somebody that's determined enough, they could, they could potentially drill that out and, and defeat the lock. Now that feedback obviously made it to Proven Industries because they made a bunch of uh, changes in their, their lock design, their puck design to uh, overcome some of those some of those challenges so what i thought i would do in this particular video is walk through the different locks uh, from from proven industries what originally shipped with it what they're currently shipping today and a new offering that they're that you're introducing early next year in i believe in february and so uh, let's take a closer look at all of these locks and how they work and what are some of those changes so the first lock I've got here is, this is what came with my original uh, Proven Industries hitch lock. This has the brass core and the aluminum uh, 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 puck. And the way this works is, so here's, here's the brass core with the steel shank. 
and you can see there's this sort of uh, oblong uh, shaped uh, tip at the end with the with a notch cut out of it and then on the back of this uh, lock you can see right there uh, there's two pins um, that uh, that become the engagement mechanism for this lock and so the way this works is the core went in there like that it's secured with a set screw right here let me secure that with an allen key and that secures in there like that and so basically what happens is uh, you know I've got my my lock and so uh, that tip I can rotate that tip in in there with the key so that goes up in between those two pins and then rotates and that's the engagement model right there at these two pins not a not a bad design at all uh, but you know as was pointed out being brass you know softer material yeah you can drill it out so you know that's a that's a valid concern I get that and so what Proven Industries did they were now they're originally sourcing this from a third party they weren't making the the, the puck themselves or the lock uh, but um, they were sourcing that from a third party uh, supplier. They have since moved on and started making their own pucks in house. And so the first thing that they did um, was they changed the engagement mechanism from being two pins at the top to being uh, just part of the overall lock itself. And what they've done is uh, the, 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 the first locks that they produced had the engagement mechanism on the front side of the lock. And what they've done since then is they've actually moved it to the backside, and I'll explain why that's important here in just a second. But uh, so they've made some changes in the overall puck design, uh, and they mill everything themselves. But then they also switch lock suppliers, and so uh, this is the new lock that they're going with. And you can see that uh, first off, it's got a steel sleeve on the outside, and um, it's it's a, uh, a barrel key design. And so, you know, barrel key is an improvement, uh, you know, or at least some, some will tell you that it's improvement because it's, it's more secure, it's harder to pick. Typically, you've seen these things on ATM machines and, and vending machines and all of that kind of stuff. The other thing you'll notice is that it's got a pimple sort of right here on the end, and that's uh, to make it harder to drill out because you can't get a drill bit square on the center of the lock. You know, that, that's, that pimple's gonna constantly push it off to one side or the other, so you can't drill out the, the center core very easily. You know, so that's, that's a couple of the changes. The other thing that you notice is that the engagement mechanism, instead of being on the tip of that shank, is now uh, this, this latch right here. It's a spring-loaded latch, much like your, your, your latch on your doors at home, okay? So that's spring-loaded. Now this is this is why it's important that they move the mechanism to the back side as opposed to on the front side like the uh, like the original uh, the very first locks that they had out did, and that's because you know so now this this lock goes up here and engages on the back side. Now, if it had engaged on the front side like this, if you knew where to drill first, you'd have to know where to drill. But if you did know where to drill, you could drill a hole out and then just push this in because it's spring loaded you could push that in and then slide the whole lock back and get it to disengage. And so moving that to the back side improves the overall security because now you can't access this spring-loaded piece. So that makes it uh, more, more secure in terms of uh, the, the capabilities, right? The mechanism is still the same, so this basically goes in here like this. Let me get that in there and I'll secure it. And then this goes like that. And then uh, it's, it secures with the set screw, like that. And now I, you know, put my lock in here, and so now I can engage it, you know, all of that kind of stuff. I put it in there, engage it, and, and now my, my, you know, lock is engaged. So, you know, this is what they currently ship today with all of their, with all of their uh, hitch locks. So. Overall, improved design, improved engaging, engagement mechanism, improved uh, barrel lock style, so you know, pick resistant, anti-drill dimple, 
Uh, you know, I don't know if that's nickel or chrome coated or something like that. Um, but it looks like, from what I can tell, it looks like it's got uh, steel inner workings, but I don't know that for sure. I couldn't find that out uh, from the Cobra. The, they're using a lock from Cobra, uh, Cobra locks. And I, I read through the data sheets and everything and couldn't find out what the material actually is on the inside. But um, yeah, definitely an improvement over the original brass lock that they shipped with it. So what they shipped before, what they shipped today, now, um, what they're doing is at the, at the, in, at the beginning of uh, next year, 2020, they are introducing a uh, new stainless steel puck with a new locking mechanism. Now, they've had the stainless steel puck for a while, but with a different locking mechanism. But what they're doing is they're standardizing uh, this new stainless steel puck with a Medco, Medico lock. If you don't know who these guys are, they're one of the leading lock suppliers, uh, leading lock makers uh, in the country. Uh, these guys supply locks to the White House. They supply them to prisons around the country. These guys know how to build a secure lock. So let's take a look, closer look at this uh, combined solution. So first off, stainless steel. Uh, this thing is a beast. It's at least 3x the weight of this guy. Um, and so it's a very, very tough, very, very durable material. I don't know if you've ever worked with stainless steel before, but this stuff is, uh, it is robust. It is beefy. Uh, I've, I've actually worked with it before and, uh, you know, trying to, trying to mill this stuff, trying to cut it, uh, is, is really, really hard. And so, you know, first off, you're not going to be able to drill this thing out. That's, that is definitely, uh, it would be a, a significant challenge. Uh, you know, or you wouldn't be able to do it easily. Second piece is um, not only is the puck stainless steel, but now the, the lock insert is stainless steel as well. So it's also very hard. So you're not going to drill this guy out either. The other uh, security piece that they uh, moved to is the locking mechanism is not spring loaded. It's actually, it, it works the same way as a deadbolt does. So once you engage it, it's locked and you, the only way to disengage that is with the key to, to, through a mechanical mechanism to disengage it. So, um, you know, so major improvements in, in overall in the lock design and stuff like that. The other thing that's uh, uh, improved on this is they, this, tech, this lock has what they call key retainer technology. So um, right now I can pull the key out because that lock's engaged, but if I unlock it, that key does not come out. So that's really nice because when you think about it, if you can remove this key, you know for sure that the lock is engaged. And so that gives you confidence that your, your solution is now locked up and locked up secure. The other thing you'll see is uh, with this lock uh, being by Medco um, is that you cannot duplicate this key uh, easily. You cannot take this key down to Home Depot, for example, and get a new key made. It actually says stamped on there, do not duplicate. In order to be able to duplicate this key, you actually have to go, uh, you have to have one, the, the key code, which is provided by uh, Proven Industries, and then you actually have to go to a, uh, a authorized distributor that's allowed to actually duplicate this key. So it's a very, very robust, very, very secure solution. Now this, uh, I'll go and you know, pop this in here and show you this one as well, just so that you see that I covered them all. So first off, in order to get it, I've got to get the lock disengaged, and I put it in there like that, and set the set screw, just like that. And now, you know, my, my locking solution is engaged, you know, just like, uh, just like the others. So, um, you know, it's a very, very robust lock. Now, I said this in the original video, I'm gonna say it again here for completeness. No lock is 100% effective. Hear me, no lock is 100% effective. Every locking solution can be defeated, it can be bypassed with enough time, effort, and tools. Okay, so uh, I'm not saying any of these locks are 100% foolproof, that you, that, that you know, you, you will never beat them because, you know, that's just not true. Uh, the
the whole point here is that locks are deterrents. And you know, the example I will use is when you go shopping, do you lock your car? When you leave your house, do you lock your front door? You know, if you're of the mind that, you know, oh yeah, these things can be easily defeated, you know, locks can be easily defeated, then why would you lock your car? Why would you lock your, your front door? It's a deterrent. It's to, to make it harder for thieves to steal your stuff. Because studies have shown time and time and time and time again that theft is a crime of opportunity. Thieves look for easy targets. They look for stuff that allows them to get in and get out really, really quickly and quietly. If they have to have a bunch of tools that make a lot of noise, they're gonna go look for an easier target because time and noise increases their risk of getting caught. So I'm not saying these locks are, uh, uh, are unbeatable by any stretch of the imagination. What I'm saying is they are a deterrent and they're an actually very effective, very, very good deterrent that takes a lot of effort to get past them. Yes, you can get past them, but not without a bunch of noise, not without a bunch of effort uh, to do that. And so what, what are thieves gonna do? They're gonna, they're gonna look at that and they're gonna say, hmm, it's probably easier to go off and find an easier target. And that is the whole point of all of this, is that locks, we're using locks as, an deterrent, as a deterrent. So, um, you know, that to me is what makes this uh, one of the best locks out there. When you combine the Proven Industries hitch lock with, especially with this stainless steel uh, lock and the Medco, uh, Medco uh, lock core, you've got a really high secure solution. So there you have it. Uh, again, this is just my opinion. Uh, I am not on, on, on Proven Industries payroll, right? They do not write me checks for, for doing this. Uh, you know, what I'm covering here and what I'm sharing is just my opinion. Uh, you know, buy the locks, don't buy the locks. It makes no difference to me. You know, I don't get commissioned by you guys buying locks. The other thing I will say is that Proven Industries is a great company to work with. They're very responsive. I think they've got really good quality. Uh, the guys over there, are, uh, are, they're just great folks to deal with. Uh, to give you an example is when I posted that earlier video, uh, they gave, I, I contacted them and said, hey, I'm, I'm going to do a review on your locks. You know, do you guys have, you know, will you guys, you know, do any sort of special offering for anybody that buys a lock? And they gave me a discount, go, discount code to share with you guys uh, that was uh, 20 bucks off if you spent 200 bucks or more. They still honor to this day. This is you know three plus you know almost three years ago. They still honor that discount code. So um, if you buy a lock and use the code Jay sent me, they will give you twenty bucks off. Again, I'm not getting commission on any of this thing. So you know don't buy the locks if you don't want to buy the locks. I don't care. Uh, you know it's up. It's entirely up to you. But if you do use the code and save twenty bucks. You know, that's, that's uh, you know, it's a, it's a nice little kicker for, for buying a really, really good lock. Now, uh, cost-wise, um, I haven't checked the prices recently, uh, but when I got mine, it was about 200 bucks for the, the puck lock. I believe they're still sitting in that sort of same price point. It might be a tad more now. Uh, this was, you know, almost five years ago. But you're looking at roughly 200 bucks for, um, you know, the, the sleeve, the uh, insert, the inner slide, and the puck lock with the barrel key. This is the default uh, solution that they sell. 200 bucks for that. Uh, I believe this is about a hundred dollar upgrade with the Medeco uh, lock insert. And so you're looking in if you went you know high full full in with with everything, you're looking roughly about 300 bucks minus the 20 dollar savings that you get if you use the code. That sounds like a lot of money, and it is a lot of money, but think about how much money you've got invested into your trailer, into your gear, right? Uh, you know, my guess is it's, it's, it's well worth protecting because it's probably thousands of dollars, uh, if not tens of thousands of dollars of gear. And so spending 300 bucks to protect that is, is a worthwhile investment in my opinion. But, you know, this to me is is again I think one of the best if not the best solution in the on, on the market today uh, because you get a high quality uh, hitch lock you can get it with a high security 
a puck with a medco medico um, a lock you know it's it this thing would be really 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 tough to defeat so there you have it this is just my opinion uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if if uh, you know if you've got any questions or comments please post those below I'll get to those as quickly as I can and if I don't have the answers I'll reach out to the proven industry guys and get you get you guys the answers uh, to your to your questions uh, but um, you know I hope you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and we'll see you next time